Hey world, it's Tobo. It is October the 6th of 2013. I said 6th in a very strange way, and welcome back to the party. Originally, the plan was to cast Crazy Kaylee vs. Wodar, because Wodar uh, successfully made it to 9th place! Except that somehow Crazy Kaylee aside the stream isn't there anymore? So I don't really know what happened with that, but I couldn't cast that. Uh, so I'm casting Crazy Kelly versus a gentleman named Radiophone instead, who has started streaming Spy Party recently. I haven't actually watched any of his stuff, so I don't know how good he is yet, but should be fun either way. Um, so yeah, that that's... That's what we're going to be doing tonight. Um, so that should be fun. But I don't think there's anything else I want to say, so let's do that! We've got Crazy Killy starting things out as the sniper. Oh, nope, that's incorrect, Dobo. So which means Radiophone then is kicking things off as the spy. Let me just make sure I'm still synced up. 318. That's about good. So, Radiophone, again, starting things out as the spy with a quick flirt. Did nail the green on that, so that's going pretty well so far. Always always a very nice way to start getting getting that flirt done. Take some of the pressure. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ladies and gentlemen, Radiophone has about a hundred wins. So this is gonna get silly. So... Ooh! Radiophone is using the alternate uh, action test colors. So that's, that's really cool. Steps in to see if he can pull a bug off here. See if he's able to get that done. Doesn't look like he winds up doing that after all. He is, in fact, Hylet, quite likely because pathing. He also went to his center statue and didn't inspect all three statues. So that's a thing that happened. A little bit strange, but what can you do? Hanging out at the painting for a moment before stepping into statues to see if he can finish this business up. So, once again, Radiophone hanging out the statues, getting his inspections going. And just generally being spy-like, I suppose. So, Radiophone, at the moment, Stepping in to see if he can pick up his second flirt. He's not in range to finish it up here. Actually, goes up for the purloin. It was a white test, so that could be quite bad. I think Kaylee noticed. I think he knows, but that's not the right person to shoot, Kaylee. Radiophone picks up game number one because of a miscalculation by Crazy Kaylee. That is, that is a shame. Not really sure. Not really sure what went on there, but wound up working out just fine for Mr. Kaylee as he steps into a game of ballroom himself with seven known missions. Let's see how this goes. Crazy Kaylee as the spy, radio phone as the sniper. We've cast high level games plenty of times, we've cast newbies a few times. I don't think I've ever cast both at once before. So, we shall see what happens. Crazy Kelly started things out by taking a book out from the bookcase. I don't think Radiophone knows where it has come from, so... Crazy Kaylee's in a pretty good situation as far as that is concerned. Not able to get a bug off there because he had a book. As he steps in... Pick up his second f- Oh god, someone just died! 
Hmm. That is an interesting start. All right, cool. So two games down, and we're all tied up. We're going to have Radiophone stepping into the spiral once again. Uh, with Crazy Kaylee as sniper. Games are just chugging along pretty quickly here, so that makes me happy because there's there aren't huge breaks in between casting misses. Yes. All right, cool. So no seduce is a very odd choice. Is he actually an opt to keep transfer on, I wonder? Taking no seduce and no... Okay, that's... Hmm. That was a little bit confusing. Pit... Oh, whoa, he was playing pick. That? That's an interesting choice. So, he's keeping swap and keeping inspect... Sorry, keeping swap and keeping microfilm, as well as inspect and contact. Certain things. Okay, that could be bad. Everything's fine, ladies and gentlemen. Everything is just fine. We've got red microfilm in pocket, which is a good start for our friend the radio phone. So we shall see how this plays out. Pick four of six on Panopticon is a rather interesting choice. Pick is very rarely played, but it's kind of cool when it is. Radio phone grabs a drink, playing things nice and slowly. He knows he's got time as he steps out of conversation. Oh God! Well, got himself highlight for that. Quite rightly so as well. Uh, that was that was a little bit strange, but Radiophone stepping in here to see if he can pick up his contact fairly early on. Nope. Double agent says nope. All right. So, Radiophone still has red microphone in pocket and has a drink in hand. And nothing else getting done so far. He's still got 2 minutes and 15 left on the clock as he steps out to... Looks like to get some inspections finished up here. Finishes off his drink. And starts his statue searching. I'm still synced up, so I don't have any issues there. There's two, here's the third inspect. He sets that statue down. First mission is done. As he steps in to prepare for his contact. He's got a little bit of time on his hands and he knows it, but he can't spend too long waiting around. So we've got a minute and 30 left on the clock. There's the contact. Oh, uh, that was bad. Um, not only did the double agent bail on him, but then a cough occurred, and things were just sad facey. He might be able to get his microfilm done here. He goes for the soft transfer. Oh yeah, he gets that off without. Uh oh, never mind. Deathing has occurred, and Crazy Kaylee goes up by one. So. Yeah, I. Uh, yeah. Bleh. I totally lost track of that sentence. I have no idea where that was going. I have no clue. But. I lost that so bad I couldn't even find a period. I just went. Blah, 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 and left it at that. Uh, that was. That was just silly. That was quite silly indeed. A um, little bit of a disconnect going on here, so they're they're getting reinvited and all that their jazz. So hopefully it won't be too long until we get into the next game here, and it won't indeed. Crazy Kaylee once again going for seven known, but on Panopticon this time. Starts things out by taking out a blue book real fast. 
and looks like he's moving it over to red to start this game off. No, nope, never mind, he's just flirting. Really nails that flirt too, which is quite a ballsy play because that was that green was in a very dangerous spot, but he was able to get it. There's a twitch flirt coming off. Uh, not able to hit the green for the two flirt finish there, but that's all right. One more flirt won't be difficult to find. He might even twitch it. He does indeed go for the twitch. He gets that done without any issues at all. Three minutes and 15 seconds left on the clock. So the deduction is done. Blue book in hand as we're going to transfer that right now. So we should be able to get this off without any issues at all. There's the transfer done. All right. So. As of right now, things are looking quite good for Kaylee. He has not yet been highlit. It's fun watching Spies be able to do really ballsy things and get away with them. And it's also really fun to watch Spies make hilarious mistakes that go unnoticed. So. Crazy Kaylee going for the purloin, hits the white test instead of the green, gets that off. But I don't think, I don't think Radiophone knows. I don't think he knows. Uh, Crazy Kaylee chugged that drink, so he's got two minutes and four missions left to do. Uh, going for a... Oh. I'm trying to figure out what he's doing. I guess he's going for the contact. No, it looks like he's just going to window. So this is a little bit odd. Uh, Crazy Kaylee, with his three missions done, has not yet been highlit. He steps in to pick up his contact on that there double agent. It is a white test. Banana bread coming off right here. Should be able. Should be able to get a few lowlights from that. Got one highlight. It was not Kaylee, though. And only one lowlight from that whole affair, as far as I can tell. Crazy Kaylee. Three missions left to go, and a minute and ten in which to do them. He's gonna have to move fairly quickly here. Should be able to get the bug without any issues there. Does get that off pretty clean. Radiophone still has no idea with 50 seconds left on- Oh no! That is unfortunate. Orange Dress stole our statue. We're gonna have to wait for her to step out and then move to finish up our- Well, just do our inspect. We haven't even started them yet. And do the swap at the same time. It's the only chance we've got here. Alright. Here we go. Might be able to fake a green here, but- so few games on Radiophone, I don't know how it's going to go. 20 seconds left on the clock. We should be able to get this done before overtime hits, I think. Nope, doesn't look like we're going to be able to. There's overtime. Getting ready to go off. Here's the swap. Nailed the green on that. So, with the weird shenaniganry going on due to zero seconds... I think this might wind up confusing Radiophone a little bit. Yes, he does, in fact, take the shot on Orange Dress. I'm not entirely sure why. Possibly because he thought it was a green statue swap at the end? I don't know. But Kaylee winds up uh, pulling off that game in a rather unnecessarily dramatic fashion. Bear in mind, because this was not what I was intending to cast, I completely forgot to check what the scores were and how all that stuff ended. So, I just noticed that we had a game here between these two fine gentlemen. And I'm like, alright, I'm casting that one. So that's what happened. Uh... Radiophone as the spy on balcony this time around picks up a fast banana bread. Crazy Kaylee 
not really able to gain much information from that. Able to get a highlight on radio foam for the white banana bread there, but that's about it. But Radiophone is going to have to get a hard tell somewhere, which is not going to be easy to do. I don't know why. I don't know why he didn't decide he wanted to flirt here, but that's fine. Steps back in the conversation. And is just going to hang out for a for a period. We'll see how this goes. We do have a low light at this point in the form of Snaps McGee. Is he gonna go for the purloin? It looks like he is nailed the white test on that. So that is very good luck for Radiophone. He really did need that green test and the fact that he was able to get it is huge. 25 seconds left on the clock. If it's the ambassador that takes the drink, that's going to be a bit of an issue. It is, in fact, the ambassador. So Kaylee knows it was a white test. Actually, I think just now he sees that the drink has been taken. I don't think he knows who to shoot, and Radiophone actually winds up pulling that game off, which is very impressive. Considering a hard tell was entirely necessary. That's hard to do. That is hard. Hard tells on balconies like freaking impossible. Okay, maybe it's not that hard, but it's still really damn hard. Crazy Kaylee getting, re getting ready to pick up the what? Alright, so Crazy Kaylee doing the same thing that Radiophone opted for. Wow, that was a fast bug. That was a fast frickin' bug. And then purloining. You could, you know, you're allowed, you're allowed to banana bread, Kaylee. That 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 is a legal maneuver. You can, you can do. Th okay, all right, Kaylee. You, I'm okay. Sure. Yep. Yeah. So, Kaylee, up by two at this point in time. Um, yeah. This is going to be one of those casts where you just like don't have anything to say about any of the games. Uh, I'm really enjoying the map uh, variety, though. We're stepping in a courtyard two here. Radio phone, once again, as the spy. Crazy Kaylee as the sniper. It's going to be any, sorry, pick four of six with no bug and no seduce. Radio phone keeps knocking off seduce for some reason. I really, really don't like it. Seduce is one of the few missions that's easy to get away with. As he picks up his purloin here. And this is already, yeah. That. It don't take particularly long. Purloins are hard to not die on, but spy party. Apparently, he's playing music. So, all right, Crazy Kaylee picked up the spy roll. Any five of six missions on courtyard two. see what he's able to get done here. Finally finds his way to a pad. It was looking a little bit dicey for a moment, but he managed to get away from that whole situation without any real pathing issues going on. So that was quite nice considering the shenaniganry he had to go through to pull that off as he picks up an early banana bread. Pretty good time for it as well. Lots of people in conversation. I think like everybody in conversation except for that guy. So quite a fantastic time for the banana bread there. No low lights from Radiophone at all. He picks up his first flirt and really nails it. So Crazy Kaylee has a good start to the game. 
we still got a lot of missions to do, and not a lot of time to do it. Two minutes left on the clock, four missions left to do. Might be able to get one done here, but does not hit the green. Goes for another Twitch flirt anyways, so it's not going to actually matter. Able to get that flirt done without any issues whatsoever. The radio phone so far has no idea. Crazy Kaylee. Hanging out for a moment, catching his breath. Planning his next move. Will quite likely go to the statues next. I can only assume that's going to be the play for him. Makes sense when you think about it. But it looks like he's spending a lot of time just hanging out and not doing anything in particular. He's got about a minute and ten left on the clock. Goes for a nice bug, actually. The passing was certainly strange coming for it, but against a player with only a hundred games, it was smooth as silk. One minute left on the clock, going into the statues to finish this up. Two inspects and a swap coming out, I'm pretty sure. There's the swap, indeed. Hits the green test on that, no trouble there. No, never mind, that was, that was not a green test. That was not a green test. Is he going, he's going to stand there a little bit longer than he should to body block it as he steps away. Radiophone sees it. Without enough time left to do anything about it, and Crazy Kaylee picks up yet another game. Crazy Kaylee playing pretty darn well here. Um, apparently it was a red test, so that's silly. You know what else is silly? Modern. This map is silly. Really pretty. Like, really pretty, but silly. Radio phone, starting things off with known one bug. Silly. All right, let's see how this goes. I don't remember what the code name for this gentleman is, but the ambassador is Mrs. E, I believe. So, taking a look from the sniper cam. Keep in mind that Crazy Kaylee has no idea who the Ambassador is. I actually said Ambassador on accident that time. I hadn't actually intended it. So. Right now, radio phone. Just hanging out, not doing anything in particular. Um... This might be very tempting for a bug, but it is a terrible idea in this particular position. He steps back into the conversation. Not quite in range here. So, we'll see how this turns out. Got two, three highlights at the moment. Radio phone included. Got a minute and 30 seconds left on the clock. Radio phone has time. We'll see how this winds up turning out. This is a very slow map to watch, but a very interesting one. Just because... Ooh, that was... Rather suspicious pathing from the lady in the red dress there. That's probably only because I know exactly who the ambassador is. We have to keep in mind that Kaylee has no idea as Radiophone steps back out to the windows. Might be able to get a bug on the re-entry. He's got 50 seconds left on the clock, so we might have to move a little bit quickly here. But he doesn't. He just re-enters conversation. Radio phone running very low on time. 35 seconds left on the clock. I'm pretty sure Crazy Kaylee has deduced who the ambassador is at this point. Okay. I don't think we can get a bug off here. I don't think we can do it. We don't have time though. 15 seconds left on the clock. 
I don't know if we're going to be able to get this done. Crazy Kaylee doesn't look like he's want to shoot right now. I don't think we can do it. Unless Kaylee shoots. He's going to wait for overtime. No, he's not going to wait for overtime. Radio phone gets quite lucky with the pathing of, um, I don't know, Morgan Freeman there. So, it was quite suspicious. And then, if you notice, the listening animation he played right afterwards was the one where he puts his cane out. So it looked like he bugged. And Crazy Kaylee just took a shot for it. And right as the shot was about to go off, apparently we decided it was time to bug. So, some interesting stuff going on there. It was quite, quite the game. As Crazy Kaylee steps into the spiral once again on known one bug on Modern. As Mrs. E this time around with the other lovely lady as our ambassador. And she immediately dies! Alright! Cool! So, that happened. I'm not really sure what to say about that. That just, it was, it was a thing that occurred, and yeah. So, Radiophone uh, looks like we're heading back to modern once again. It's going to be known one bug With Morgan Freeman as the ambassador this time around and Mrs. B I think is her code name as the spy So Let's have a look see from crazy Kaylee's view and uh, no, apparently, apparently that game's not happening. Let's let's try again. I don't really know what happened there, but we're gonna we're gonna restart. We've got Mrs. E as the spy, James Bond as the ambassador, Helen White. I think the community has named um, Mrs. E. I quite like that name for her. It serves her well. Crazy Kaylee, quite rightfully, um, highlighting all three of those clustered up right there. Just by pure chance, one of them happened to be radio phone, but no bugs occurring because the ambassador is not within bugging range of anybody at this point in time. So, radio phone steps out of conversation, takes a look at her watch. Window to window apparently is going to be that maneuver, there was a little bit of interesting shenaniganry going on with Tiberius von, sorry, Tiberius von Baumhauer as well. As radio phone steps back into conversation, not quite in range for Bug, but in a very inconspicuous position. Morgan Freeman just did a random hand flip that looked like it may have been a Bug, but in convo Bugs aren't quite that smooth. No bullets going off yet. James Bond re-enters the conversation next to Tiberius. Once again, Crazy Keely has no idea who the ambassador is at this point in time. There are no lowlights. And it's not like James Bond has been moving around a whole lot. Crazy Keely doing a pretty good job of things, being very patient. Everyone is highlighted except James Bond, hilariously enough. With 45 seconds left on the clock, Radio Phone has to make a move as he steps out of conversation here. Checking the watch. Might go for a walking bug entry here. 
Seems like his best chance at this point in time. But James Bond steps out of conversation. It's going to have to be reverse drive by Bug, I think, if we're going to get this off. But re-enters in a really bad spot in the conversation for it. I don't think Kaylee is going to shoot here with 10 seconds left on the clock. I'm pretty sure Kaylee is just going to wait this one out. Tempted bug. Bit of a miss. Smooth enough that it wasn't noticed. But out of range enough that it missed. So... A very nice attempt. Didn't work. And even if it had, overtime would have happened and Kaylee would have known just because of the pathing. And it needed to happen sooner than it did. He just never. The opportunity never arose, and he wasn't able to put himself in positions that would let the opportunities arise as needed. But without further ado, it's Crazy Kaylee's turn to pick up the spiral here in known one bug. Morgan Freeman as the spy. Helen White as the ambassador. Not exactly the highest frame rate from radio phone's end of the screen, but that's fine. No super fast shots going off this time around, which is probably a good thing. Two minutes, and ten seconds left on the clock. Crazy Kaylee. Actually, for a moment, he was one of two people in conversation, which is... Rather interesting. Helen White picks up a highlight for some reason or other. Very, very suspicious pathing from James Bond coming out here. Does not pick up a highlight for it. In fact, it looks like Helen White's going to take a bullet here. In fact, she does. And Crazy Kaylee winds up picking up another game. So... I accidentally just closed my scoreboard. That's never happened before. I've never done that on accident, but this was probably a good time to do it if I'm going to do it at all. We're heading in to veranda. Radio phone going any... I think that was any four of six. Uh, Might have been pick. I don't think so, though. Indeed, it was any four of six. With no purloin. This is a v this is very doable. I feel like Radiophone picked a good game type for this one. Picks up a real nice flirt right off the bat as well. So that's certainly going to help. This Radiophone faces off against Kaylee on what might be more even footing. Considering the skill difference. Needs four missions. With Purloin out. As Radiophone steps in to statues to pick up his first pair of inspects. Did pick up a highlight just for being at statues. That tends to happen. Not many people going to statues this time around. One other highlight for it, but all in all, I feel like Radiophone's playing a solid game so far as he steps into the bookcase to see if he can get this microfilm action started off. Crazy Kaylee on the other side of the map for a good while, but Radiophone unable to capitalize on the chance he had there. Has another chance right here, but doesn't wind up going for it. Probably a good thing, too, because Crazy Kaylee swung right back around again as Radiophone steps into the statues to pick up his final inspect. Might be able to get away with this before. Nope, never mind. There's Crazy Kaylee swinging around, sees Radiophone in that spot. Radiophone puts that down, that statue. Really does not want to go back to a statue again for the swap or for any reason, really. That was an issue. 
I don't think Kaylee noticed, so we're okay. As we step back into combo, we're in a not a very good spot in combo. Like, we're being surrounded here. This is a little bit awkward. We sh might be able to finish our flirt here, though. We do not hit the green test, so that's an issue. That is a really awkward spot in the combo. Look at that. That's an issue. We, we gotta get out of here, man. Radio phone, you gotta move. Or just, like, hope and pray that Kaylee doesn't notice. You gotta go, man. You gotta go, man. Radio phone. You're in a dangerous spot here. You're playing... Playing a dangerous game, my friend. You do, you're you standing literally in the middle of a conversation. Okay, cool. Step back out. Take a quick... A quick... A quick sip of that drink. Steps back into combo in a much more reasonable position this time to pick up his banana bread. Does, in fact, white test that. And is actually completely hidden from view at the moment. Now that Kaylee swings around, sees Radiohead there. Not Radiohead. Uh... Radio phone, sorry. Uh, it does pick up the win on that, so. Man, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to say about that game. I'm, I'm not in a very saying things mood today. Whoa. Stay on the desk, mouse. But, we're going to have Crazy Kaylee playing some seven known on Veranda. Let's see if he's able to go smooth operator mode on this or if he's gonna have to do something crazy. Starts things out with your standard issue close white flirt. So nothing special there. Section target immediately steps out of conversation which is a huge boon because we can just chase and get another flirt off. Another white test. Sand, again, standard, nothing crazy going on here. Uh, the Twitch flirt's rather interesting, though. I think he's far enough away, though, that he needs a green test. Does not hit the green test, so he's going to need to pick up one more flirt somewhere along the line. Literally any flirt will do, though, so that's that's all right. Should be able to get a nice walking bug here. Does indeed. Radio phones on the other side, so he has no idea. Let me know if I'm mumbling, because I have a tendency to do that. Um, Variable Bread in chat is asking, what's with the green laser? Uh, that is a feature put in in the latest update uh, to help with colorblind folks. And then everyone went, green laser, that's awesome, and used the green laser. I mean, I know I did, because, hells yeah, green lasers. So... Crazy Kaylee steps in to the bookcase, pulls out a red book. Still not high lit at this point in time, so he is, in fact, doing pretty well with smooth operator mode here. That was a little bit of an odd. A little bit of an odd piece of movement going on there, but. To, I don't know what he's doing. I have, I have literally no idea what crazy Kaylee is doing right now because he's crazy. So. Oh. A fake banana bread has occurred. What is this interesting? I think he was hoping for a low light there. Did not wind up getting it. Crazy Kaylee said he was trying to inch toward the green bookcase while he was looking away. The guy has like a hundred wins, man. You don't have to do that. That's 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 kind of excessive and entirely unnecessary. Uh, so we're picking up a a real banana bread this time around. Once again, not highlight in any way at the moment. Someone died. It wasn't Kaylee. All right. Kaylee picks up a win on that. 
went straight up smooth operator mode the whole time except for the weird movement between the bookcases. That was strange. You're trying to mind game too much, man. That's, that's not necessary. Water, however, is entirely necessary. Because my throat gets so dry. If I talk a lot without having water, it just, like, it, it stops working, practically. Not literally, but practically. Figuratively. We'll call it, yeah, we'll call it figuratively. Figuratively stops working. I need to get, like, a, like, a, is there some sort of, like, really fancy wine glass that's big enough to hold enough water for me for the, for the, for the show? Because if so, I need to get my hands on one. If not, like, I'll just get, like, a tanker or something. I have my tanker of water every time I cast. That'd be as silly as all get out. But... Radiophone stepping back into the courtyard two. It's gonna be pick four of six, I think the game type was. No purloin and no bug of the missions to come off. So he is indeed going to have to swap at some point. My chat is the best chat. And away we go. Brinsworth Buckswoggle is not only a very enjoyable name to say, but it is also the, um, okay, oh, what, oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Crazy Kaylee has officially missed, <laughs> that was amazing, uh, for those of you who didn't quite see what happened there, radio phone got stuck on Toby, he was just Standing there for a considerable period of time. He was just there. And then Toby was there. And they were just stuck. Right as Kaylee zooms in the chute, Radiophone gets unstuck. Which means that Radiophone moves behind Toby, who gets shot by Crazy Kaylee because he didn't have time to react to. Radiophone's movement, and then everything was awesome. All right. That was amazing. Uh, anyways, Crazy Kaylee's playing now. Uh, a five of six, I believe. Got a bug really early on, which is quite nice. And then goes for the banana split on a green test, which is, you know, fine, because Radiophone didn't see. But Radiophone, not much for taking risky lowlights. So, never mind, never mind, Kaylee's lowlit. Kaylee's lowlit, I said something silly, and it wasn't correct. Kaylee's doing that twitch flirtage as he continues to be lowlit. So, hmm, yep, this is... It's the thing that's happening. It's, it is so hard. So hard to come back from a, from a low light when you're playing a sniper. It's like almost impossible. Especially when you're new at the game because when you're newer at the game, you trust in your low lights like crazy. Like once someone is low lit, they cease to exist. As Kaylee steps into the statues to pick up his first inspect. Looks like he's going to step immediately over to the other side, to the statues there. To pick up and inspect. And then I can only assume a swap. Swap indeed goes off. White test, everything is fine. And yeah. Kaylee picks up an easy win there. It looked like Radiophone may have been about to shoot Kaylee, but low light happens. It was second and guessing himself really hard, and it just never happened before time ran out. 
Crazy Kelly said he was indeed about to. So, there was a really dramatic story there that I entirely missed until it was too late. Because I'm not paying enough attention because I'm sleepy. So, Spy Party. Alright, cool. Uh, looks like we're going back to the veranda for a little bit of any four of six action. What are we taking off? Taking off Swap. Nope. Taking off... What are we taking off? We're taking off Purloin? Purloin! No Purloin. That's a good play. I agree with this idea. Let's see if he can pull off the execution. Radio phone as the spy, Crazy Kaylee as the sniper. Let us see how this unfolds. Radio phone actually takes a drink quite early on, which is generally not advisable, but if snipers catch you doing that, sometimes you'll get low lit, but it doesn't usually happen. Because spies don't normally take drinks like right at the beginning of games, especially when purloin isn't a thing. So, I don't necessarily agree with the drink grab there, but that's fine. I'll, I'll deal. Everything's okay. It's just going to delay the rest of his missions a considerable amount is all. Three minutes left on the clock at this point in time. Might be able to get a walking bug here if he decides to step out of conversation. But he does not. And the ambassador runs away. And... Radio phone after being left to finish up his drink, does just that, and steps- OH GOD! Alright! Someone died. Wasn't radio phone. Cool. Water. Success. I drank my water. I was going to say something. And I- don't know what it was. So, spy party. Alright, so Crazy Kaylee stepping into the veranda on Known 7, as is his way against Radio Phone. And it's time for him to continue with Smooth Operator Mode. Immediately starts things off at the statues here. We'll likely be able to get a swap off. No, nope, never mind. He started with a drink. That's a shame. No swaps going on early on. We'll oh, nope. Swaps happen anyways because he's crazy. Radio phone swings around. Does he know? I think he knows. Nope, doesn't know. He has no idea. So, we've got the swap done, we've got two inspects done. Is he even high lit? No, he's not even high lit. That's... That's bonkers. That is utterly bonkers. Alright, got a really nice green flirt as we grab a, a guest list from our friend Toby the Waiter. Three missions done, as well as two inspections. And... Radio phone hasn't noticed a thing. Might be able to get some microfilm action going here. We do indeed just go for the hard transfer. Nothing fancy going on there. Radio phone pulls bow. God! That was the wrong danger, brother. That was incorrect. I have no idea how to type that smiley. Probably just copy paste it, but yeah. All right. So it's time for some balcony. So it looks like it's going to be classic balcony, eight two of three with no purloin. Radio phone as the spy. Crazy Kaylee as the sniper, and let us see how this goes. This 
So, radio phone uh, steps into conversation for his first flirt, gets it off without too much trouble, but it wasn't a particularly good one. Should be about 25, 25, 32 actually percent. So, better than 25. Grabs a drink from Toby. Radio Phone really likes grabbing drinks from Toby. Like, he. Toby is a friend of his. He will not refuse. As he picks up a really not very good BB. Two of the Danger Brothers get knocked out of the running. Apparently, somehow, by complete chance, all three of the Danger Brothers are here. It's like, not the spy, or, it's like, none of the actual cast are danger, bro. Okay, here's a, come on, Tobo, words. He just died, so, what I was trying to say was everybody in that party who was not cast was a danger brother. That is awesome. It's like, the, it's like the Danger Brothers are the ones who fill in. That made, that made me incredibly happy. All right, so Crazy Kaylee's turn to play some balcony. Apparently not yet. All right, now. So, it uh, looks like we're doing the same thing as Mr. Kaylee, classic balcony. So any two of three with no purloin. Might be able to get a bug through Generalissimo here. Does indeed go for it and nails it quite likely. Nails it quite likely? That made absolutely no sense. Nails it quite ni- oh god. I don't know how that wound up on screen. Uh, but then banana bread happens and everything was awesome and we win. And yay. In two seconds. There, we did it. So, yes. I'm sure I was going to say something here. I'm sure of it. I, I know I was. Um... Damn it. Oh well. Let's watch some balcony. Radio phone, once again, as the spy. Crazy Kaylee as the sniper, of course, and hopefully we'll get things underway without too much delay here. Ladies and gentlemen, we found a Oh! Okay, I picked a terrible time to swap to my screen. Crazy Kaylee as the spy. Radiophone as the sniper. Picking up a flirt right off the bat. Very nice one, too. Nailed the green and everything. So that's going to work very much to his advantage. Perfect time for Banana Bread as well. Again, nails the green. But I think Powder Blue Jacket there... Stepped out of conversation a little bit too soon. Probably should have been low lit, but wasn't. What is going on at the windows, man? Jeez. Nobody wants to talk. Crazy Kaylee is high lit at this point in time. So a uh, radio phone might be able to pull this off, but all Kaylee needs is a single flirt. There's that flirt in question, and unless radio phone... Takes the shot. It looks like he wants to. But he didn't. And Crazy Kaylee winds up pulling that game out of his hat. Quite cool. That was... I feel like Radio Phone... He has the problem of either... Either being... Really fast on the trigger finger. So fast that he just loses... Or just barely not fast enough on the trigger finger. Which is a really sucky feeling, to be honest. 
Radiophone's about to step back into the spiral, and we'll see what goes down here. So, let us have a look. Turn things off as generalissimo. Just waiting on... I got really distracted for a moment because I thought Damon was in conversation. And I was like, wait, what? But then I saw him over there and I was like, never mind, that's just red tie. That threw me way the hell off track, but that's fine. We've got one flirt done, and that's about it. Let's look at Kaylee. That's not Kaylee, that's the to-da button. There, I pressed it. Uh, apparently while I was doing that, a banana bread happened. I think he hit the green because he's not Hylet. One low light has been acquired. Banana bread is done. One flirt is done. You have a minute left on the clock, so radio phone's a little bit tight on time here. Although he is flying under the radar at the moment. Not in a very good spot in the conversation. Ooh, apparently... Apparently, the seduction target decides to change course and then 360 into the window. I'd shoot him for that. Would you? Kaylee would. That was... I mean, he was already high lit, so... That... Yeah. Yep. Don't really have a whole heck of a lot to say about that. Pretty nicely played game from our friend Radiophone, though. So that's that's cool. Uh, and then Kaylee's turn to play. Once again, classic balcony. Nothing crazy going on as far as game types go. But let's be honest. Balcony is always crazy. So that is not a very good position to start things off in. It's really not. I think you tried to bug there, but then the Embedastor left and we were sad. But we flirted. So no trouble there. It was just a white test, so that's fine. Nothing fell. Oh god! This is an issue! Ladies and gentlemen, we found an issue. Radio phone has resolved the issue. The issue has been resolved. All right, let's play some spy party. Looks like we're going to some not balcony. Nope, we're going to balcony. All right, cool. Uh, still hanging out on classic balcony, which is it's a really good game type. So yeah. No complaints, uh, okay, we fixed it, we fixed it, that was scary, and probably a bug, because we were in fact in a pad, we just weren't facing said pad, so, really nice first flirt, I think that's 49, if it's 48 I'm gonna be sad, because... Now, I'm only really going to be sad if it's 48 and he really nails the next flirt. Then I'm going to be sad as hell. But Radiophone picks a slightly suboptimal sorry, time to go for the BB, but nails the green test on, so that's quite nice. He's making good time here. A minute left on the clock. Nice flirt done. Uh... Our seduction target ran away from us before we could flirt, and that sucks. 50 seconds left on the clock, so we might have to rush a little bit on these flirts. Or bug. We can bug. I think I think we have the power of the bug. Never mind. A wall of people in the front has dissipated. But we now have a wall? Okay, someone died. Cool. Yes, I have a finger. 
I'm gonna call it there, guys. I'm tired. I can't keep doing this. It's 10 o'clock. Been going for an hour. Um, Spire on the Hill is awesome. Watch it. It happens every weekend slash Friday at twitch.tv slash spy party. I cast it with Morning Track and everything's amazing. Crazy Kaylee's awesome at it, apparently. And I think that's all I have to say. I don't know who I'm casting with yet on Tuesday. And yeah, I'm done. Thanks for coming out, guys. And until next time, this is Deboshi. Signing off. I missed the... Signing off. <laughs>